This is the fourth video introducing the 4051 and its basic language. In this one, we'll talk about commands for making graphics. The graphics on the 4051 are a lot of fun to experiment with. Even though you can only draw lines and only in one color, you'll be amazed at all you can do with just that one capability. As we've seen in previous videos, move and draw are the main graphics commands. Putting together the math functions, arrays, and using loops, we can make some pretty displays without all that many commands. Basically, the display is rectangular. It's given coordinates that go from 0 to 130 on the x-axis and 0 to 100 on the y-axis. 0, 0 is in the lower left corner. Let's use that information to make a program that connects lines from points on a circle in the center of the screen. Uh, the center would be 65, 50. 65 on the x-axis, 50 on the y-axis. We'll calculate and store the points in arrays x and y so we save time. Old computers like this, this is about 40 years old right now, don't run very quickly. The 6800 microprocessor is clocked at 1 megahertz, not the 2 or more gigahertz of today's processors. Okay, I've typed in the program already. Let's take a look at it. So the first half of the program, we set up the X and Y arrays by calculating the location on a, of a uh, radius 40 circle centered around 6550, the center of the display. And then the two loops, starting at line 170, move and draw to make each line segment. Let's give it a try. Even with pre-calculating all the points, it still doesn't run instantaneously, but it's not too bad. Let's go up to the top here. Since I didn't page, the program shows up right over the display with the resulting graphics. Note the nested for loops on line 170 and 180. Every time the I loop, starting in line 170, goes up a value, the entire J for loop is executed a number of times. So when I is 1, J starts at 2, and it goes all the way up to 12, executing the move and draw for each one. Then I goes to 2, and J goes from 3 to 12, etc., etc. The move and draw commands use absolute coordinates. Everything is an X and Y coordinate, and it moves or draws to that exact location. But there are a few other commands that move or draw relative to the current location of the graphic cursor. These are R move and R draw. A third command, rotate, makes, the, makes this drawing go in any direction you like, rather than just aligned with the X and Y axis. So let's take a look at a small program I've already entered. So the for loop, again, we've seen that it steps by a certain value, so instead of going A starting at 0 and then 1, 2, 3, it goes A is 0, then it goes to 30, 60, that's what the step option does. So we move to the center of the screen and we set the rotation to the loop variable A, and then we do relative draws. So every two time we go through that set of R draws and R moves, it's doing it at a different angle, uh, reference angle, changing by 30 degrees. So let's give it a try and see what happens. So there you can see it rotating by 30 degrees at a time before it starts the new set of commands. Let's take a look at the program again. So every time it's starting in the center, it's making uh, three sides of a box because one is an R move instead of an R draw. That's the open side of the box, so it looks like a U rotated with one of its points always on the center of the screen. One more basic type of uh, graphical function that the 4051 can do is draw an axis. So let's see how that works. 
there's an axis command. Let's see what happens if we just type it all by itself. It draws an axis centered on 0, 0, so you can't see the negative on the x or y axis. So let's look at a program that draws a plot of a function with a more interesting axis command. The first two parameters to the axis command show how far apart the tick mark should be. And then the next two, if you have all these, show the center. So 6550, as we've seen, is the center of the display. We move to a certain spot on the screen. That's going to be the location of the first point of the plot. And then we go through the uh, calculating the plot for values from x equals minus 5 to 5, going 0.2 at a time. And there in line 140 is our function, and then we draw uh, a scaled version of it in line 150. Let's take a look as, as it runs. There's the full axis, and here we've plotted the function. So again, looking at the program, if we didn't have line 120, the first draw on line 150 would draw from wherever the, the graphical cursor happened to be. We can delete a line by typing the number. Let's run it again without that and see what happens. You can see that the axis command finished in the center of the screen, so it draw, drew from there. In a later video, I'll cover some more advanced graphic commands that control how the display co coordinates are defined. We're using the default coordinates, which go, as we said, from 0 to 130 on the x-axis and 0 to 100 on the y-axis. In the next video, we'll learn about text strings on the 4051 and how to format text and numbers uh, when they're printed.